outside talking with the protesters earlier this morning. Did you have you seen them out there or? Uh, I saw some folks out there. So um, they've said that they've been trying to contact you. Have you received no. any of the? Con no, you haven't received any no, contact from nothing. them. Nothing. The only contact I've had from protesters is them protesting. Uh, number one. Number two, this isn't about protesters today. I recognize their right to do that. This is about open government in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. This is about providing, providing access to open government, and that's what today is really about. I admire their ability to protest, their willingness to protest, but really today's issue is about openness in government. Now, they say that they would like to have an open dialogue about the Secure Communities Program. Would you be willing to talk with them? Uh, not if they keep going on the route they keep going on. I don't consider this being constructive. They have not reached out to me. They're doing it backwards. Had they not had access to me, I could understand this. But they've had access, and frankly, I'm not inclined to give them that access if they're going to act in a manner that they don't want to sit and have a meaningful dialogue, and I have not witnessed that. That being said, there are individual groups that I have sat down with, and I am sitting down with, um, as recently, as soon as next week, actually, um, that do want to discuss it. And I am more than willing to do that. Uh, but just because I don't do that, uh, they request some anonymity regarding that, and so I provide that. Now, do you see uh, their major qualms is that, uh, thank you, their major qualm is that they say that, um, you know, there's problems with deportation as far as before conviction. Well, let me say this. In Rhode Island, we have had no, none of the issues that they had. The thing with secure communities is if you don't commit a crime, it doesn't apply to you, plain and simple. It is non-discriminatory. Everyone who gets arrested, and you need probable cause to get arrested, everyone who gets arrested is checked through that program, regardless of their race, religion, creed, background, ethnicity, citizenship, regardless of that. So my position is you stay out of trouble, you don't commit a crime, you're not a subject to secure communities. That's not how it works, actually, because if you're arrested, that doesn't mean you're committing any crime. I mean, that's not how it works. You should understand the program if you're implementing it. I'm sorry, may I speak to you really quick? I'm with um, WPRO. Um, no, that's okay. I have to run, actually, and check on my son. Yeah.